from pediatrician to president of South Africa's Medical Research Council. Professor Glenda Gray is considered as one of the leading experts in mother-to-child HIV prevention. She says she'd always wanted to become a doctor. And at university, she became an anti-apartheid activist, a fighting spirit which stood her in good stead when she started working as a young doctor in the early 90s, during South Africa's dark days of HIV denialism. 93 and HIV is exploding in your country and there's nothing to treat HIV with. And in the beginning, uh, you, all you do is choreograph death. You know, you, you identify babies who are HIV infected and when you identify them within three to six months, they will die and their mothers will also eventually die. In 96, um, we heard for the first time that triple therapy could be used to, uh, to treat HIV, that HIV could be converted from a, a deathly disease to a disease that was chronically manageable. But the treatment was extremely expensive and not provided by the government at the time for the millions of people who needed it. For years, the young Dr. Glenda Gray and other HIV activists lobbied for funding for HIV drug trials. We managed to change the view of our ethics committee and they managed to give us uh, these trials. And very soon we were showing that uh, in our setting at Baragwanath Hospital, women could take the drugs and they could take it. And, and sometimes when um, what we were seeing then, once we started using treatment, we started seeing children going back to school, women going back to work. And that was a beautiful thing. So what we saw um, in a space of, of, of 10 years, um, that you could actually change this epidemic around. Professor Gray has won numerous awards over the years, including the Nelson Mandela Award for Health and Human Rights, and also received one of the country's top awards from South African President Jacob Zuma. The Order of Mapungupia in silver is awarded to Dr. Glenda Gray for her excellent life-saving research in mother-to-child transmission of HIV and AIDS that has changed the lives of the people of South Africa and abroad. And as the head of the Medical Research Council, she has many scientific goals she still hopes to achieve. Well, I want to make sure that the science we do um, impacts profoundly on the lives of South Africans. I want to make sure that whatever we do, we make huge um, impact and we have these leapfrog discovery moments. And so for Human Rights Day, uh, living with HIV, uh, you know, hopefully we all uh, silently think about what it's like to be HIV infected and how to face every day. You know, one thing that uh, we have to do, and maybe that's the biggest science job I ever have to do, is you know, how do you eradicate stigma? You know, how do we cure uh, South Africa of stigma and discrimination? And that should be the next charge for me, is to find the, the cure for stigma. Renadal Calm, CCTV, Cape Town.